hello my ntnp welcome back to today's video and thank you for tuning if today is your first time for my old subscribers you guys are so amazing i so much appreciate you all for your support for everything for this journey that you guys have been you know supporting me in so in today's video i'm going to bring to you i've done this this tea but i'm going to show you what i did behind the scene that has been working for me amazingly because you guys are so supportive to my channel and because i see that you guys so much care for me and my uh, alopecia issue so guys i always want to share uh, my secrets that's generously with you guys to also try it out definitely not all things are good for everybody but definitely i think this very one is going to help you out because anytime i do product or tea i always like to try them so guys today i'm going to be showing you how to make this tea very concentrated that works amazingly so if you want to see how this tea was made keep on watching <music> welcome back guys so this tea is all about this glove uh seed mix with other things i did last time but this time what i'm going to be showing you is not the same form i made uh you know the one i made last time so uh the artery uh you know ayurvedic or herbs or spices i don't know how to you know explain it but this stuff they are so good to help to thicken your hair strength if you have weak hair or uh thinny hair or fine hair you know so it's going to help to thinking your hair strength these are uh, three ingredients they are so they are so concentrated and very very powerful they contain three of them together they contain an amazing ingredient to help to thicken waken hair if you have weak hair if your hair is breaking that easy if your hair strength is very tiny they will help to strengthen it okay so this uh, three stuff i mean the glove ones we know glove seed is, is just like so but when it comes to bay leaf and the rosemary leaf i will advise you guys to allow them to dry at least for some days here is summer now if you are not living in summer area try to leave it others uh, are out to for the air to help to you know uh, shrinking it if it will dry at least so now first let's come in to make this stuff i'm going to pour in my gloves and then i'm going to pick uh my rosemary gradually gradually particularly rosemary uh, leaf is so amazing when it comes to helping to treat your scalp to help for blood flow and to also help to you know uh, grow your hair that healthy glove is amazing i mean glove is so amazing i love glove smell it helps to drive away lies and not only that it helps to also to treat your scalp from inchy if you are regularly you know scratch your scalp or maybe you have dandruff or maybe you have sore scalp and you know anything that has to do with scalp issue glove is so amazing to suit that area to stop that inchy or inflammation because of the that's the essential uh, you know powerful ingredient in gloves so you guys know i have scalp issue so it due to things i use i know how you know how beneficial they are to uh, my scalp and to my hair so as for the bay leaf bay leaf contains vitamin b uh it, it does it has the same uh, you know uh power to grow hair to strengthen hair to thicken hair to you know mineralize hair to give vitamin to your hair just like guava leaf if you don't have guava leaf and uh, as a bay leaf acts the same way no difference so now i'm going to pour in boiled water this boiled water is going to make a form of tea for us but how are we going to make this kind of tea this time this tea is not that same tea that you just allow the water to cool down before you start to apply it on your hair that one is okay but the way what i did and that's let me say i will not say i mistakenly did it but 
I just did it. I wanted to see the difference. So first, before we go ahead to, you know, continue preparation, I'm going to pour in my, uh, uh, my tea tree and rosemary. As you can see, my tea tree is gone or as well. They are all, you know, tired of me using them every day anyways so i'm going to go in with my rosemary uh, essential oil just add any quantity of your choice i'm not going to tell you use 10 use 5 you know why because what i'm about to do right now i didn't gauge the quantity of the water so for that reason um we are not uh, yes we are not into the essential oil what we really need is the the tea formula so i'm just going to close it like this so by the time you close it what you are going to do you are going to allow it to see that put it in your refrigerator so with this let it sit in your refrigerator at least for three days so by this doing you are going to find the color will start changing it's going to turn into this dark brown color so when you bring it out of the refrigerator i don't spray it like that just warm it okay just warm it and put it in my spray bottle the reason why i like to warm is going to help to release the benefit because you know this stuff when they're in the fridge they, they are cold and let me say i feel they don't work well because when it's warm it helps to open your pores to penetrate your hair cortex and your hair cuticle to you know that is how it works by you know going to your hair so and this is the one i did before so i kept in the fridge i will take from the dark one and put in my spray bottle whenever i want to you just take a little bit sift it you know warm it then i just put it in my spray bottle so definitely right now sorry guys the other one is the one we made you see the, the difference between the color so you can also allow it to stay there continuously it can last you two weeks okay so by the time it lasts more the more concentrated this stuff uh, become the greater it is to help to thicken your hair strengthen your hair and stop your hair from breaking and shedding if your hair is just breaking off easily or your hair is shedding when you are combing your hair before you can also use this in people you just spray it all over your hair cover your your hair with a plastic bag you can apply oil or uh, that's on on top after you know spraying the water you can only spray the water that's all so just cover your hair let it you know sit at least for 30 minutes and you go and do your shampoo then after your shampoo you come back and spray all over your hair again as your water then you can also spray it every day guys let me tell you the most part this thing works more is on your scalp spray it on your scalp give it a gentle massage for at least three minutes before you do your shampoo or if you know you are using it every day just spray on your scalp massage you can also spray at the tip of your the last the ends of your hair as well to also help to stop those uh, split ends that that little breakage that when your hair is old you know the old part of our hair is more weaker because you know that place is not fresh it's not young so that's it guys you can use it this way and come and give me your feedback so please share this video and i hope you love it thank you for watching god bless you all as usual bye bye